Hi guys, Salman is here from Signals View. Welcome to the weekly forecast. We're looking at the DXY. We are just a couple days ahead of the ADB. Then we have the NFB in Friday, coming Friday. The dollar index has dropped from 106 to almost 100, then is back to 1460. Even if the result expected to be negative, this could take the price up. Don't worry about this move. We're not gonna take it. Okay, either we're gonna sell from here or you can sell from here. And if it rises, then sell again. All cases, we are just looking for the dollar index to come down all the way to 100 level. Okay, guys? And this could take about two months. Dollar index move in average 250 points per month in average. Okay, so it dropped about three weeks. Then it's rising now as a correction. Then it will drop again. So if you look at the bigger picture for our time frame. So we dropped all the way, okay, guys, here. This level has been dropped from before. Then this is 106.50, double top, dropped all the way to 119. Then back up to this level. Watch out, this one, this one, this one. This is a very strong level, okay? We are gonna sell from here. There is already a sell position. And if it rises 50, 60 bips, we're gonna sell it again. But don't take any buy from here. Even if it's gonna rise a little bit, we're gonna sell it, okay? Going forward, we're looking for a drop to 103, small correction, 101 level. Look here, 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 multiple times here. Okay, so expected 103 to, you know, have a little bit of correction sideways like that. Then drop to 101, which was this level, this level here, and this level when it's broken, it fly to the upside. And so here, then we may go sideways a little bit between 10190 to 13, then drop again all the way to 100. So this is the way going forward. If we look at the Euro dollar from 107.50 here, okay, it rose all the way up to this 1.1250. We had a, a selling position from here all the way. Guys, this area was could potentially rise. It, it broke to the downside. Now here, okay, don't take any more sell position. We're looking only for a move to the upside. It could drop one more time, then rise, okay? So we're looking to take only a longer position. Don't take any more uh, selling short positions, right? The bound will be the same scenario. Bound is the same position. If you guys look at here, there's a trend line here. Rise bigger one, then drop to this level. Then it rose again here. Okay, and bang, all this move. Here, we are very close to this. Look at this trend line here. Look at this. And now we are coming to the same trend line here. So don't take any more selling position. We are only looking for a move to the upside here all the way to 1.32. So going forward, we're only looking for this up move here to 1.32. So only take a longer position uh, in the uh, bound dollar. If we look at the USD CAD, one big shot right here and bang. Okay, this is liquidity, of course. It's coming back to the same situation. Look, guys, same level and they start to drop. So now... We're just looking for this to come down all the way to 1.3420, all the way. And it's gonna come down fast. Okay. Watch out, this is gonna crash. So USDCAD could be one of the best positions to take, guys, okay? Going forward, let's look at the oil, a buying position, okay? We are looking to buy here. Look at this. So looking to buy to 72. You got this? So what I'm trying to say, there was a support here at 72 when it was multiple times. You got this? It worked as support here, 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 okay. when it's broken. At 72, we either come back down or we break to the upside and go back to 80. You got this point? So at 72, we have a decision here. But this should be a very good trade to take from 68 here all the way up to 72. You guys, that's 400 free money, 400 pips of free money, okay? Oil has a very good trade. And if you pay attention to this, we have a higher low, okay? It's holding really good. There was a down channel here, like this. Got this one. So there was kind of. If you trade in the daily time frame, okay, all the systems available in Trading View, guys. If you want to join Nasdaq here, you have at the twenty thousand three sixty. This is a little bit high price. So what you should do, you should wait a little bit. If it comes down to close to twenty k, okay. So this level here, we want something close. It doesn't have to come all the way here, but something between. This area will be really good to buy, okay? So wait a drop, then buy it from here, from the 20K to 2,500. So the buying area around 20, 2150, okay? Like 20,150 level, this should be okay. But don't buy it at 20,400. This is 
it should dip first. It should dip. There is no too much interest here at this level. So they need to bring it down first, then fly up. Look at the gold. Gold in the long time, guys, is flying up. Okay, but now uh, it should drop all time high to 750, double top. Uh, there is divergence here. If you can see, this is a very strong coming down, coming back here up to 750. So we should see a profit taking. This profit taking could drop all the way to 27. Wait to drop. Okay. What the levels for the gold? 2730. Okay. So 2730 right here to this level, 28. Okay. 27, 28. So second scenario, we can drop to 27, 28 and rise back here. Okay. If we break below 27, 28, then wait at the 2705. Okay. Is this your, your levels for the gold?